An apparent lightning strike set fire to an old suburban water tower early today. That may not sound like big news, but it's very important to a lot of people who live in Western Springs. The water tower is not the only, or is not only one of the oldest buildings in the village. It's also the home of the Western Springs Historical Society. The fire happened early this morning in Western Springs after a bolt of lightning hit the wooden roof of the water tower, 110 feet above the ground. Channel 2's Burley Hines reports. Flames raced through the Western Springs water tower early this morning, threatening to destroy a village treasure and the written history of the village. The tower is also the town's historical society. It was built in 1892. The fire was contained to the roof. This morning, village trustees and firefighters scrambled to remove important articles donated years ago and are irreplaceable. A doll that was donated from early 1900 with the clothes of that period. A tennis racket, the old wooden kind used by tennis immortal Ellsworth Vines when he dominated tennis more than 50 years ago. I really can't, can't think how I feel. It's, I, no, I, I'm grateful, really. Things are coming out so much better than we thought when we saw the flames coming out of the tower. The tower used to house Village Hall and the police department before being turned into a historical society. Essentially, all of the documents and the memorabilia that have either been donated by citizens, other communities, or other countries, for example, such as our sister city in Rougely, England, all of those mementos and so forth are housed in uh, that museum. Firefighters will have to clear away all the water in the building before an assessment can be made of the damages. The artifacts are being stored here at a recreation center in Western Springs until the tower can be restored. And the village will rebuild the tower, hopefully in time to celebrate its 100th birthday next year. Burley Hines, Channel 2 News. Western Springs officials say last night's lightning storm was the most severe in recent years, but it was very localized.